So on the 21st of August, my graphics card decided to crap itself for the very final time whilst playing Skyrim. It also happens to be on Rob's birthday as well, so I'm blaming this on you, Rob. You dick. With Rob being the one who actually paid attention during IT class, I decided to spend the next few days constantly harassing him in order for me to learn how to install a new graphics card and also to try and find one that would be compatible with my Dell XPS 8700. And after a few days, I finally decided on the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 by Gigabyte. Link in the description if you want to get one yourself. So, the graphics card arrived on Sunday, August 27th, and I was expecting the package to come in the morning so I got up really early and I'm not a morning person so I was in a really bad mood at the time and what happened the graphics card came at 5 in the afternoon because of course it did eventually of course the package did arrive so I took it into my room and started unboxing it why do they make this so Difficult. I'm not good at unboxing things. So eventually I did get it out of the packaging and marveled at the beauty of the black box it came in with the beautiful designs on the front. Ah, <sighs> And yes, eventually I did realise that all that time I'd actually been holding it upside down. Shut up, I'm not blind. PURE SEX! Now we come to unplugging the cables, which is pretty difficult to do for me considering my computer is in the most tightly compact space in the world. But of course the real pain comes to when I have to plug the cables back in again. That was not, that was not fun knowing I was going to have to do that. So I unscrewed it and took the case off and accidentally gave the graphics card a good old whack as I tried to pull the case away. Oops. <laughs> Firstly, there was a little support holding the graphics card in place, so I needed to unscrew that and take that off. But then on the back, the graphics card was also held in place by this grate, so I needed to unscrew that as well. Next, I just needed to unplug the graphics card from the power supply, which proved to be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Maybe because I'm just extremely weak, and then I just needed to reach down, pull this little clip at the bottom, and pull the graphics card out. But of course... Things didn't go exactly to plan. How do I get this out? For some reason, no matter how hard I tried, I could not seem to pry the graphics card loose. I even went as far as to Google it to try and see if there was anything I was missing, because this was the first time I'd ever done something like this, so I thought I was missing out something important. But it turns out I just completely forgot to take the grate off the back. Ouch! Well, that was what was holding the graphics card in place. Ow! <laughs> Eventually, after much prying, I finally got the graphics card out. Uh, I got it. I got it. Uh, get, get out. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Whoa. Hello, baby. Fuck, that is a lot of dust in there. Whoa, I need to take better care of my stuff. So I decided to give my computer a little clean before I did anything else. And I can tell you that stuff really smells. Can I just point out how terrified I was at the time? Because this was the first time I'd ever done anything like this. And it's, it's terrifying because this is the first time I'd ever opened up a machine and had to understand what's inside the thing. Even though I took an IT class, I'd never actually done it myself. So it was still absolutely terrifying and I was really, really worrying my head off. So now I was able to finally open it up and just as I did, I realized I hadn't actually fed my dog yet. <laughs> So shiny. So very shiny. This is hard to do with one hand. There we go. For the first five minutes or so, I actually just spent the time gawking at the beauty of the thing, but eventually I did actually start trying to install it, at which point I realised it was actually going to be impossible to install the thing with just one hand, so I set up the camera on a nearby shelf. So, to say installing this graphics card was difficult would be a complete understatement. No matter how hard I tried, and I did try for a very, very long time, I could not get the graphics card to fit in there. It was going to be a very, very tight fit, but 
something was just stopping it from going in. And eventually, I found out what that was. You see, the card comes with little caps on the ports, and although I took decided to take them off as soon as I got it out, I actually put them back on because I thought that would keep the ports safe if I was not going to use them. And it turns out the graphics card doesn't actually fit in with the caps on. Oh, I had the caps on still, and it doesn't fit with the caps on. It was just slightly too. Okay, uh, it fits now. <laughs> so even with the caps off, it was still a very, very tight fit to get the graphics card to fit into the base. Oh, come on. Fit. Please. Please. Go in. <laughs> Oh! Wait. Wait, if I just... Oh, I think it's in. I think it's in! Okay. <laughs> Waiting for that little click. It might be in, but I'm not sure about this side. On this side. I don't know. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's in. I hope. <laughs> So although I wasn't completely sure whether it is in or not, I decided to test my luck and reassemble it, starting with the back plate, which my hair is very fantastically hiding. Thank you, James. When I originally bought the graphics card, I actually expected it to have an 8-pin PSU connector, so when I got it out of the box and I realised there wasn't a 6-pin to 8-pin converter, I was kind of terrified because my power supply unit only uses 6-pin, but then I looked closely and I actually found it actually is 6-pin, so disaster averted. So I put the case back on, which is pretty difficult to do with just one hand, and screwed it back in, and then I attempted to carry the computer back into my room, but just as I was putting it down, the thing landed on my toe. And although I didn't get the video of this, I did get the sweet, sweet audio of me exclaiming that my toe was in a lot of pain. Oh! Fuck! So here comes my favourite part, plugging everything back in, and well, it was very difficult and I got very angry, but here for your listening pleasure is the sound of me breathing into the microphone. So I was extremely certain that it wasn't going to work first time, especially since how difficult it was to put the graphics card in, and I was very sure that I didn't actually get it in properly, so now all that was left to do was hope and pray that it was going to work. Please. 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 Good, come on. Just work first time. Please. I know my blouse need, needs updating, but I don't want him yet. Please. Your <gasps> 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 fucking keyboard ain't working, man. So as soon as I remembered to actually plug the keyboard in, I went and installed all of the graphics card drivers. After that, I then called up Rob to let him know how everything was going, and went into GTA to test to see how good the graphics card really was. My video memory! <laughs> it was maxed out on my on my card before. It's not even slightly maxed out on this. Nice. Oh, let's just stick everything up. Wow, just that, that bar was always red. Oh, I'm so happy. Very high. Let's just stick everything. You're not doing ultra, are you? Uh, I won't go ultra, I don't think. No. Selection, that's fine. Oh, the most annoying thing is the fact that I've been away from my computer. Like, I couldn't edit anything or do anything productive at all. I couldn't work on anything. Like, usually, like, if I wanna... If I'm not making videos or something, like that, I'll probably just work on, like, a, a thumbnail or a design or something. But I just couldn't, so I'm just stuck here doing nothing. Oh, game! And it's not loaded a single damn thing. There we go. 60 frames per second. Wow. Wonderful. <laughs> Internet upgrade. Now I've got a graphics card upgrade. Now all I need is a new brain. So it has been a week since I installed the graphics card and since then I have not uploaded a single video. The reason for that being 
Skyrim. I've recently been playing a lot of Skyrim, so the idea of playing Skyrim in anything other than 10 frames per second has been amazing to me. So I've been binge playing Skyrim ever since. And let's just think how amazing it is that I just made my grand return to YouTube, and what did I do? Spend a week without making a single video whatsoever. So let's talk about how amazed I was that the computer turned on and worked first time with no issues whatsoever. After scouring the internet for a very long time, I came, con I came to the conclusion that I would have to update my BIOS for the graphics card to be compatible. The only issue was the, the BIOS would not be able to be updated in safe mode. And of course, I could not take my computer out of safe mode because the graphics card didn't work. I was 100% certain that the computer would not work without that BIOS update. So the fact that it did work I was very amazed. And one thing I have done, which I should have done a long, long time ago, is set up a second monitor and redesign my workspace to look so, so much more professional. So from now on, when I am live streaming, live streaming or editing a video, I can easily just glance over at my second monitor to get any more information I might need. Now I think of all the improvements that this graphics card has over the original, my favorite is the fact that it makes no sound whatsoever. The original used to be so loud, I used to have to noise reduce all of my videos all the time, but I will not need to do that anymore due to the fact that the fan on this new one is completely silent. And I think it's pretty, pretty obvious why the original was so loud. It's the fact that all that dust was stuck in the fan. I'm pretty sure that had a really negative impact on it. Anyway, I'm gonna go now, keep up to date with all of the videos that are going to be coming out soon. Sonic Mania for one, that's gonna be an amazing series. I've been TCK, this has been my dead graphics card, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye! <laughs>